Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. It's my honor to introduce you to, I'm sure you know him already, Mayor Richard Reardon. He served in that capacity in Los Angeles from 1993 to 2001. And sir, you have been speaking loudly and clearly about the question of the fiscal health of our city and the weight of pensions on the budget of our fair city. Could you give us a sense as to why you are so concerned about those obligations? Well, the city has pension funds. They've assumed that they're going to have returns of sometimes eight, nine percent. The fact of the matter is they, the best prediction it would be five to six percent. And because of that assumption, they, they don't know what's going on or they're pretending they don't know what's going on. But the bottom line, at the rate they're going, they will be bankrupt by 2017. And we know, sir, that San Bernardino yeah. and Stockton, they faced that fate. And yeah. many people believe it was as a result of the weight of pension obligations, not exclusively. But, but that's the main one, that and health care. Right, and retiree health care. And retiree health care. And by the way, health care under Obamacare is going to bankrupt everybody in about two years because the federal government is subsidizing the states and the cities, therefore, for the first two years. But after that, they're on their own. I know that Governor Brown has expressed concern that with the yeah. Medicaid expansion, right. um, that that could be problematic if the feds do not continue to reimburse at the rates they have suggested. Well, they're not obligated to, and they're... The federal government's losing a trillion dollars a year, so they can't very well afford it. But getting back to the city. Please. What the city is doing, they're kicking the can down to the next corner. And then what the unions are saying, okay, we will knock 1% off what we're doing, but we want you to give us 3% in two or three years. Right. And so they're getting by today, but they're not going to get by tomorrow. So, and, but who's going to be hurt the most? It's going to be the members of the union. The employees of the city are going to be hurt more than anybody. Because if the city can't satisfy yeah. its obligations, yeah. I mean, look what's happening in San Bernardino. As I understand yeah. it, sir, the pension obligations at some level could be voided. That's right. Right. So what would you tell the new mayor? What would you say to him? as he looks at pension obligations and retiree health care? Well, I would suggest that he gets together the best and the brightest brains there are in the city and then follows their lead. Don't ignore them. In the past, the mayors have ignored what the bright minds have said. But here you have like Mickey Cantor, Eli Broad, myself, sure. and others are looking very hard at it. And I think that the mayor has to turn his, not turn his back on the unions, but tell the unions that he's going to follow that and he wants to work with the unions because the unions should follow it. There's no doubt that the unions, and, and I'm not here to union bash, but yeah. they wield a lot of power in this city. And so how do, how does the mayor, the city council, manage to weigh and balance the desires to keep a happy uh, workforce yeah. with the obligations of a fiscally prudent municipality. Well, it's unfortunately very simple. The unions get the city council and the mayors elected. Mm. They're the biggest contributors in politics. Although this time maybe not. Well, uh, I don't agree because uh, Eric Garcetti was supported by some of the unions and true. he went after all the others. True who happened to uh, right. support Wendy Gruel. Mayor, but, Mayor Reardon, I want to thank you for joining us. I know you're going to come back on our program. His name is Mayor Richard yeah. Reardon. My name is Brad Pomerantz. You've been watching Time Order Cable's Local Edition.